Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 5 of Let's Play the Old Gods Zoroastrian Karen playthrough number 2 with Clear Combat Mod. So I am, um. Yeah, I'm really frustrated by that. That's annoying. But this is what we've been stockpiling all this gold for for years and years and years. We can hire, if we had to, we could get like 12, like 3 of these things, which would be 10,000 men. And we could support them for. Maybe a year, two. Which might be all we need. We're not going to convert, that's just dumb. It'll definitely be fastest if we assault. So let's just, um... Actually take all these men and then rally them to Sirt. And then to Cheremisa. Except that it looks like he's trying to cut off my supply line. Fine, just hang out and sear it. Oh, we've got the Suomenusko supply limit penalty. So we're going to need to assault right away. So we don't lose a lot of men to attrition. We're losing 7% per month, but we're not going to be at war with them for very long. Hey, we get some money. What are you doing? Take over his other land. I don't even care about the attrition penalty. It's probably best to just assault. Raiders have arrived to loot and pillage Satrap Vandad. That's annoying. Bastards. I am not the leader of the siege. What? Oh, I was looking at the wrong county. Okay. Come on, let's wrap these wars up as fast as possible. Seven thousand men. Meanwhile, there's probably a death stack down there. Yep. This attrition's not neat. Not cool. My whole army? Yep, yeah, that's everybody. Painful, painful. Let's put our best commander in the center. And he actually wants to be made marshal. Let's do it. Uh, no, I want I want my marshal training troops and doing all that stuff, so. Sorry, dude, you can't be my marshal. My concubine's pregnant. Probably gonna have a second son. So we're losing 6% per month, which is uh, not too bad. 360 men, roughly. This should wrap up the war, I hope. Yep. Okay. Next up was this guy, so let's go take his land. Unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with low supply limits for all this land. We're going to suffer a lot of attrition. Might even lose some steam. But... Yeah, wow, that's really, that's really painful. We can re release and re-raise quite a few more. We're actually losing the Holy War pretty handily, because he is sieging through all of our stuff. Okay. You're going to die, man. I'm going to kick your ass. Uh, let's see. Alright, we've got to get back to our own land, and release three rays, hire some mercenaries, and go kick this guy's ass. I don't like that at all. When he loses, he's going to have to pay us 540 gold, so we can afford to spend quite a bit of money on mercenaries. Can we catch you? 
25th, 23rd. Do we have an organizer? Doesn't look like we do. So in that case, we will disband our troops. We will re-raise our troops. And then we will re-rally to a defensive position, say, up here. And as soon as we can get down there, I need to hire the mercenaries, because they're going to spawn near the capital. We've got just 4,000 men. Man, that is, that is a lot of men that he's got. Are you sure nobody wants you dead? Are you sure? Like, totally sure? Damn. You can't get the spy master. It won't happen. Dangerous factions. Independence. Hmm. Okay, so these guys are pretty upset with me for having raised their levies for so long. Let's, uh, let's send them some gold to get them in line. Keep them above 80 opinion. They both want to be Spymaster and they've got five Intrigue. Why are you Turkish? What is wrong with you? Turkish. Everyone's supposed to be Persian. Persian, damn it. Okay, um... Not gonna create the kingdom. I still just have one son, but one of my concubines is pregnant. Okay, let's just hope that they get out of that faction before it fires. There goes one of them. Can't get this guy anything else, but... Damn, it's a second son. So now we'll lose a lot of the land if I die. Now it's really on me to try to create a kingdom, ideally Persia, before dying. Fortunately, I'm a tough soldier and I'm only 49, so I could live another... quite a while. Looks like this guy became the king of Persia. Shah. Hopefully he just raised crown law, which makes people dislike him. Let's try it again. Come on, plotters. Damn. What a bastard. I might lose this war, and then I'll have to take it back from him later. This is all I can muster. 4,400. We've got some great commanders. Let's let's see just how powerful these commanders can be. He'll be here November 9th. We have time to position ourselves, so let's do it. I'm going to put myself in charge of the center flank. I'm going to put my fantastic dude there and my other flat terrain expert. We're fighting in step, which is flat terrain. Let's see just how powerful these commanders can be. These guys will arrive one day late, but we already have the proper commanders. It's going to end up being 4,500 versus 4,900. Now his empire is pretty large as well, so he's going to have quite a few good commanders. We've got 14, 15, 22 versus 9, 8, and 6. So 22 versus 6 should just, he should kick ass. And I've become a skilled tactician. Excellent. Actually, this smaller guy is winning. He would have beaten him on his own, but now I'm flanking. Yeah, we had better commanders, so we won. Cool. That's nice. I mean, it was a pretty close battle. It was only 500 men difference. That buys us a tiny bit of war score, a little bit of time. I 
Now I'm, on, now I'm a brilliant strategist. It's a lot of upgrades. It's two, in fact. Now I'm 21. Damn, I'm awesome. This character's a badass fighter. Okay, can we get more men if I release and re-race? Let me pick up another 2,000. He's far enough away from my capital that I think I'd be able to really raise some mercenaries and get them to escape. So let's do that. We will disband, re-raise. This will probably be the last time. And I've got to make this quick so I can get back up there and start focusing on... and start focusing on the Pagan Wars. Okay, disbanded all the little ones. And uh, how many troops do you have now, buddy? Now that I've kicked your ass in combat, six thousand. We're gonna kick your ass. We're gonna beat you. He'll siege this. He might. He might be able to win the war before I can actually fight him. But we've got um, how many men? Four thousand. We are gonna need mercenaries. That's for sure. But maybe not as many as I thought. Sixteen marshal. Sixteen. Twenty marshal. Twenty marshal trickster. That guy's pretty good. He's on higher, though. I'll take this guy. Alright, let's hire him and have him try to sneak up and combine with the rest of the armies. We've lost a battle. Bastards, he's... crap. He's catching my forces off guard. Let's put myself in charge then. Let's, let's get some good commanders up here to... Hopefully prevent that from happening. Seventy-five percent negative war score. Not cool. Need to beat him up pretty quick here. Gonna get you. Not gonna lose. Losing's for losers, and we're not a loser. Got our excellent commanders up front. Let's go kick his ass. Turn the Starn War around. The Pagan Wars aren't going well either, because we're not doing anything about them. Oh, excellent. Another pregnancy. Oh yeah, the mercenary flank kicked ass. Now his levy will reinforce very quickly if I destroy it completely. And he might be able to pull up, like, another 10,000 men if I don't wrap this war up fast. he's winning is because of occupation. We've won almost every battle. So I get that land back, we'll be good. I've inherited something. Our levy's reinforcing pretty quickly. I'm losing a lot of money per month because of those mercenaries. So second and third daughter. Twin daughters. Cool. That means two two more females we can breed with. <laughs> that reminds me of Game of Thrones and uh, what's his name Beyond the Wall, who sleeps with his own daughters, Craster. 
inherited something else as well. So these people are dying. I don't want that land, so... Stupid pagans up there. And there we go. So now it's just the the battles showing, and now we'll start getting a ticking war score. And you, good sir, are going to owe me a lot of money. Five hundred eighty-eight gold. And actually, I'm not going to worry about attacking him. I'm going to release my men, re-raise, and now I'm going to turn my attention northward again. And uh, actually, let's. We'll take our own personal troops, rally them somewhere in the middle. We'll leave the mercenaries here, like somewhere nearby to defend that land. And this is going to be annoying. Okay. In fact, might as well take those mercenaries and run down that army there. Have him take care of the Muslims, and the rest of the army can finish up the wars up here. Don't worry about both of them. They're, they're both going pretty poorly. With 600 men with low morale versus 500. Well, I have to find a way to combine these armies around that little issue there. I'm going to wrap this one up here. See you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.